just about every record was so short, that's why you got more records per hour at stations like Wivage. It's 927 Elvis on location. As I walk along, I wonder what went wrong with our love, a love that was so strong. From the Dell Shannon songbook, Elvis on Location. That's the live album. We've been playing from uh, Las Vegas so often and getting such reaction. It's truly phenomenal. And uh, maybe later we'll dig out that cut, The Wonder of You, all over again. Did you catch the Presley special last night? It's a rerun of the thing that they had several years ago, Elvis on Tour. And uh, it was spliced together very well. It was cut shorter than the first time around. Another big Elvis special is coming up uh, sometime next month on one of the television networks. But the reason I bring that up is uh, while it was on, I was talking about uh, the impact of, of this man. And when it came to dollars and cents, there was an article in one of the news magazines. His records, his motion pictures, T-shirts, guitars, anything he was connected with. This one man now, Elvis Presley. Anything he was connected with in his career totaled gross $43 billion dollars. I said billion with a B. That is mind-boggling in the true sense of the word. It sounds like a national debt. Forty-three billion dollars is what that man was connected with in some way, shape, or form. Partly sunny and pleasant today with a high of 80. Tonight fair, low 65. 69 degrees, 931 the time. Wibbage. The final week ever. And your response deserves such a thank you. Philadelphia, your number is 263-7120, New Jersey, 590-0660. Can you do it? Come on, it's the Pope of Castle. You better believe the bird can do it. That is the cool jerk. And we'll be doing things like that tonight, because tonight is the night at the 5100 Lounge, 5100 City Line Avenue. Tonight, starting at 9, High Ski and the Bird, Joe Niagara, with the final women's record hop reunion, Diana. Come on, mama. Would you say the bird is playing all his favorites? You would say correct. That's what Wibbage is all about. Stuff from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. And that thing by Diana Ross and the Supremes has one of the greatest lines ever. Get out of my life. Why don't you please? You keep me hanging out. Here's another phase of mine. Nitty gritty dirt. I knew a man Bojangles and he danced for you. They had several hits in their career. But that's got to be the beat. Mr. Bojangles, nitty gritty dirt band. And every time I hear it, I think of one thing, Sammy Davis Jr. I don't know if he still uses it in his act, but uh, several years ago in Vegas, caught him do that. And I swear you want to cry, because he throws in a little soft shoe and does such a thing. Of course, he's such an all-around performer anyway. This particular note is from uh, Barb and Ed Mole of Middleton Place in Norristown, Pennsylvania. And uh, they're very complimentary, and they would like to thank the new management for what is being done this week. And we would, too, because it's a ball, genuinely, every one of us. Heisky and uh, the Geeter at six tonight, we're all enjoying it. Uh, they also uh, pinpoint uh, several things in particular, like what they would like to have would be a list of the Wibbage Top 99, each and every one that was ever printed. If need be, they would be more than willing to pay for it. I know there are some collectors of these Wibbage Top 99 lists that have every one that was ever printed from uh, way back in the late 50s. And uh, if you happen to have each and every survey ever made, maybe you can supply that information to us, your name, your address, etc., and we'll in turn pass it on to those that are interested and you can make some kind of a deal in some way, uh, get Xerox copies or whatever. Let's go to the phone and say hello, find out what's there. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Larry Stahn from Laurel Springs. From where, Larry? Laurel Springs. Laurel Springs. How are you? Good morning to you. Doing good. Fine. What can we do for you? I just wanted to say you were the first announcer I remember listening to. I am the first announcer? Yep. How old are you? How old? 20. You're 20? Yep. 
Gee, I found somebody under 90 to listen to me. <laughs> oh, you are a josher, you are. Lara, what is happening in your neck of the woods? I guess everybody's down here listening to IBK. Yeah, we're getting fantastic vibrations, and we're so thrilled about it all, honestly, wherever we go. I know the Penn's Landing thing last night, uh, the entire crowd, including Bobby Rydell, I might add. He had his family. His mom and dad were there, and uh, they, too, were talking about it. And uh, they were also probing, like, uh, what are they going to do next? I whispered. I'm not going to tell you what I whispered, but I whispered. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling us, Larry. And what it's all about as far as the new station is concerned, uh, that will be here at 99 on the dial, you're going to be the one that originates it. I mean that. You're going to get a telephone number, and you're going to be able to tell the people on the end of the line exactly what you think a radio station should be. In other words, what you want to hear, what you want played. That phone number comes your way, and you take it from there. Partly sunny, pleasant today, high of 80. Fair tonight, low 65. It's now 69 degrees, and I hope everything is fine with you, Mama. Jean Banza of Lakewood, Colorado, talks about her five kids and Trident sugarless gum. They know I'm doing it for their own good, and I think the thing that really helps along that line is they like the flavor mm -hmm. see, of the Trident, and so that's half the battle. If they like it, then, uh, you know, you don't have a problem. Right, Jean. Since four out of five dentists surveyed recommend sugarless gum for their patients who chew gum. The flavor is what I really like, aside from the fact that it's sugar-free. Trident, for families like Jean's who care about their teeth. performers in the biz, but he's getting fantastic recognition now. The great Neil Diamond, that's Cracklin' Rose, he poured on the rocks. 946 at Wibbage, let us rock out. Last night I had a wonderful dream about you. You, my wonderful dream, will come true. Will come true. Before my voice changed, I used to get up high like that, too. They are the majors. That's one of those things that Wibbage busted a long time ago. 9.48, good morning to you. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm laughing about in a second. First of all, I did not call them the Bee Gees. I said the Beachies. You know, Beach Boys, Beachies. It sounds kind of cute, though. You, you, you're still not paying attention, are you? It's 9.54 at Wibbage. Joe Niagara, late breakfast with the bird. This is the week that was and will never be again. Now, I'll tell you why I let out with that guffaw just seconds ago. Channel 10 is supposedly on their way here. Uh, we uh, made a complaint earlier this morning that uh, uh, Channel 6 showed up yesterday afternoon at Wibbage and uh, did a whole thing on high. Of course, they were kind enough to mention my name somewhere along the way and uh, also uh, pan the camera on a window that has a picture of me that was taken in 1912. Now, dig this. Richard Hunt, news director of Wibbage, knows that Channel 10 is on their way. He figures they're also going to pan the window with the pictures. Do you know what that Fink did? He pinned his picture on the board. <laughs> We ought to pull a dirty trick. What we ought to do is scratch his name out of the picture and put something there like Bruce Davis or Jerry Grove or Frank Pointer, all former Wibbage newsmen. We might even put Chuck Knapp's name there. And they'll say, oh, didn't he used to play records? Sunny, pleasant today, high of 80. Tonight, fair, low 65. It's 69 degrees, and good morning to you. Let me give you a couple of telephone numbers so we can say hello to you. 263-7120 in Philadelphia. In New Jersey, 590-0660. Heiskio Rooney McValdi O'Ginsboy takes over at 12 noon. <laughs> 